happy sunday happy sunday empires what's up is your girl toya here guess what it's a new month so happy new month happy uh july to each and every one i hope you guys can see me pretty well <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys in a few you know how we do it in a few minutes i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing all right so right now i just want to say guess what new month and your girl have upgraded i have upgraded not just to lemon alone but now i'm i have upgraded to orange juice <laughs> and you know my cup is right here my glass sorry my cup my glass is right here my glass is right here my orange juice is on the other hand and pretty soon i'm gonna pour myself a glass as i sit and chat with you guys now for some reason I just feel like I need to reintroduce myself and reintroduce my page. Guys, I'm 24, 24, 25. Um, more to go to reach to a thousand subscribers. So to everyone that has friends and know people that are interested in vlogging and interested in what I have to offer to the table, please share my videos out share my link tell your friend that's how we get it done tell a friend to tell a friend that toya is on youtube and she does lives every single sunday now if you're here for the first time i want to say a big welcome my name is toya i'm just doing a little reintroduction of who toya is my name is toya i'm a mother of one daughter beautiful daughter which most of you my day one followers already have seen and have met on several of my live videos I ha I am a dog mom and a cat mom <laughs> yes I basically came to YouTube for the sole purpose of just talking actually talking about relationship and situations in life however as the year go by things have changed and i have now um really and truly come up with is something that i know i can never run out of a topic when it comes to vlogging and that is my lifestyle situations eating healthy eating a balanced meal not every day but most of the day so if you're new here i want to say thank you and for those of you that will be joining and will be new to my page i want to say welcome my page is all about healthy eating lifestyle habits looking into your life holistically and when it comes to a holistic lifestyle it includes traveling it includes budgeting it includes um going through problems and learning how to solve them it includes eating healthy it includes you name it because it's a holistic approach when it comes to your life so if this channel is a channel for you and you're interested and you want to know more you want to learn more on how to care for yourself on a holistic point of view then join me because I am real I talk about it like how it is I let you on in on my life you know something too I want to make mention um, there are people that will watch my youtube channel and they, then they will go and make a, a video about something that i have said now we have to be careful because everybody have a life to live uh, i've been going through a separation going into a divorce and i've noticed that there are vloggers that watch my video and then instead of commenting or supporting they go ahead and go and make their video a talk talking about oh do not rejoice about um, getting a divorce or you're a bad person for getting a divorce listen a lot of these same people that are saying these things are hooked on a man that is beating them for tea breakfast lunch and dinner and they cannot escape and me who have been separated and becoming a woman on my own and of my on my not on just on my own strength but on my own talking about it and encourage someone out there that is going through a battered relationship it don't have to be physically it can be verbally it can be in every way mentally mentally break down 
you know and um for people to say these things i don't like so be careful when a youtuber has something to say listen to them make pick sense out of nonsense and if it's something you're gonna do do but don't make videos like you 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 fighting against them because you don't know their shoes that they're in anyways that's all i had to say about that manner now let's get into the topic like i said welcome to each and every one don't forget to put those thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and my question for today because every live every sunday live i have a question my question for today is where do you guys think we are going for our birthday vacation <laughs> i'm excited and the thing is always um, in life you have to know how to treat people you got to be careful what you say because you can hurt someone you can make someone even more depressed than how they are you don't know what people are going through so please my people show love and only positivity um, on the page and positive comments all right I got my book I got my book here I create my own chart yes i create my own um spreadsheet as they would say <laughs> so i got my book i got my two pens i have a red and i have a black pen so that i can calculate and do you know my different changes guys i don't want to be long because i know that um our learning um or our viewing um you say capacity is very short so we got to be careful when it comes to putting a long video hi carlos thank you bless sunday bless sunday thank you for putting that thumbs up of course and yes thank you for dropping down that comment carlos give me just take a wild guess and tell me where do you think we are traveling to for our birthday vacation send it in the comment there i'm waiting to hear um now let's get into the topic so this month month is all about july month is all about budgeting so every single sunday i am gonna sit with you and i'm gonna talk about how i am budgeting myself towards vacation towards my bills towards how what i do with my income you know because when you get your income you have the tendency especially if you do not have a budget or you do not have a plan you you have the tendency to spend it and that is me so I've decided, you know what, because that is me, I am going to make sure that I have a book. Now, most of you, people that do budgeting, a lot of you have your your book that has the, the lines and everything on what, how you spend, how you, you know, the accounting, the whole accounting phase. However, I am learning to budget. So I go and look for books I have here with pages open. And I'm gonna admonish you do the same get books go in your house you're in your house somewhere some some place must have a book with a few empty pages you can start there you don't need to go and buy a book that is wasting money buy a whole new book to start over that is wasting money I mean if you can afford it go ahead but what a sense of budgeting if you're gonna go and buy a book to do a budget button we could do with a simple book as this <laughs> so guys this is my monthly bills. So I have monthly bills and I have extra bills slash planning. Extra bills slash planning. As you all know, we just have things come up. You end up having extra bills. Sometimes you do um, a monthly grocery haul and you end up have to go back and buy again. Because of course we know that we all need food to survive, food and water to survive. So of course you're going to go back and shop again, right? <laughs> all right. So now let's do this. On my monthly bills, I have rent, light, water. These are my top priority. I need to pay my rent or else I can get evicted. I need to pay my light. It can cut. I need to pay my water. Water goes. I cannot take a shower. I cannot go to my work. So when I get my salary at the end of the month, these are the three things. Actually, guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a, a star right there so you guys can see. Those are my top three priority and food. I mean, in between, you know, because food too, those four things actually is a tree, the top priority. Internet is not necessary. I mean, unless you're like a vlogger like myself, which I buy credit and then I get again internet. 
um, cable. You don't really need cable, but okay, I put cable as a okay, you know, hey. Then I have at the bottom, vacation, travel. I have outing and clothing. Sometimes uh, the end of the month come and you're missing certain things and you want to buy some stuff, some clothing. I want to buy some hair products. So you, you name it. You know, we as women want to buy our hair product. Men, you want to buy your shave. Uh, you want to get some clothes. Maybe you have a couple pants you've been wearing for over a year now and it's washed out. So you need to <laughs> buy but you're not gonna go buying clothing every single month that was something i used to do and now i literally stop i say to myself do i need it do i really really need it and if i do need it then yes but if i don't need it no all right this is my list and as you guys can see let's see uh-huh there's this line here and another line right you're seeing it so this these are my one two three four top priority then you see i have a little thing here um for internet i mean of course i need internet because as you guys know i'm a vlogger i'm a youtuber um, i also need internet because i am studying i need it <laughs> i am studying so i need it um let's go in rent like i said if i don't pay my rent i cannot live so guess what i am going to live to rent or rent to live whichever makes sense to you but i say live to rent why when i live to rent i know that i need to i need to be here so i need to pay in because i need to be here i need to pay my rent for those of you that are joining guys i'm gonna stop in in between and i'm gonna say take a wild guess where we are traveling to for our summer vacation birthday summer vacation and guys it is hot it is hot it's hot it's hot it's hot i cannot stress on how hot it is for those of you that are joining don't forget to put that thumbs up and of course leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how is it where you live let me know send in the comments i would love to hear and now my light I need to be able to press my uniform and so forth my rent i pay my rent every month when i get my salary i take out my rent i take out my light i take out my water bill then i take out food now that food price has gone up i'm really thinking to myself hmm i used to spend 200 dollars on grocery uh, with me and princess but now i'm thinking i need to spend more than 200 yeah i do i sincerely believe i have to spend more than two and when i mean 200 i used to spend like um a whole grocery haul at the end of the month for two 250 and then um two weeks later i would spend another hundred so call it 300 dollars for the month or a little bit more now with food gone up and gas gone up and this gone up guys so does paying off my bill and the weird part is i don't know if anyone else can relate but the weird part is i cannot see the salary rising as soon as the salary goes up a, a notch a notch a little notch so does the bill <laughs> so does the bill it goes up it goes up it goes up for those of you that didn't see um um two two fridays aback or wednesday aback vlog i spoke about i showed a video of a 250 dollar grocery haul guys if you only know it wasn't much that i got so i have that video and i'm gonna actually go through it and see come i want to compare it with last month month before last grocery haul to this month's grocery haul because last month i didn't shop to be honest guys i really didn't shop i um i had i was planning i am i got my ticket for uh, to travel and so much other things that i was like okay cool we're gonna live off of whatever little things we have in the house because you know always have something in the house maybe they may not have um how do you call it excess but there's always something in the house another thing i've heard and i've been seeing is 
uh, a lot of people stocking up like you need to have a cupboard where you can stock up on stuff because um i've heard that they say there's famine coming i hear people say you know things are getting hard you need to stock up for those of you that are accustomed of having a shelf or a cupboard with stocked items grocery and food it's nothing but for someone like me that don't have stuff stocked up i need to get stocking so um next week i'm gonna put up a vlog if not next week week after next where i'm gonna be cleaning on top of the um the cabinet counter so that i can stock stuff away because it's really necessary to stock up you never know in this time what is going on what can happen you never know so guess what it's good to stock up and that is something i'm doing so i think i'm gonna spend instead of 300 i might end up spend four or 450 in grocery haul imagine that and it's just the two of us it's ridiculous it's just princess and myself yeah it's just princess and myself guys so imagine me who have to who who's spending that small amount <laughs> spending that amount i find 400 dollars to be a lot of money I don't know about you i don't know what you think but i find so anyways i'm here squeezing my lemon right, give me some time please send in a comment and let me know where do you guys think we're going for vacation do let me know in the comments i'm squeezing my lemon light and water bill in one sec guys let me just grab some spoon okay i'm back <laughs> i had to stir this up so i'm gonna pour it in how do you budget don't take things that is not necessary like i just said i have upgrade guys cheers i have upgrade to moving from perrier water with lemon to orange juice and lemon so cheers to each and every one of you that will be joining don't forget to put a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section let me know where do you think we are traveling to for our mother daughter birthday vacation okay let's continue now like i said before food is necessary so I, I definitely see myself spending more on food this month. For the internet, it's also necessary as, you know, school and I have to research and study and do stuff. And I need to email and receive mails. So, of course, I need internet cable. It's not a must because once you have internet, you can, there's so much you can do on the internet. You can even um, don't have Netflix, but then that is an extra uh, extra cost even though it's twelve dollars a month depend on the channel or depend on what you want it's still an extra cost to be honest it's still an extra cost for me so cable is not really necessary although i do have it and i'm thinking if i should continue to keep it out in dining i have gone down to instead of out, uh, going out and dining and when i say out in and out and dining also include even on the job where I would order food that is dining out still. So I start to incorporate cooking more at home and bringing my food on the job. That's a way of falling into a good budget. Going out, when you go out, then you have to drink and you gotta pay for the drink and you, you end up might eat something and you gotta pay for whatever you eat. That is extra money going out there when I can actually hold back and I can save something. I'm going towards I want to go on a vacation right <laughs> okay so yes 
and not only just go on a vacation but we need to learn how to budget our money we need to learn how to keep that money in check because it you have to work hard for it so you need to know how to budget and keep it in check clothing how often do you buy clothes i used to buy clothes every single month now i don't buy it is it necessary do i need it that's the question i ask myself that's the question you should ask yourself and if you know this month okay I, you need some bras you need some undies you go ahead you buy the undies and bras i normally when i buy my undies i buy um a set of different colors but like a dozen of undies so i have it the bras now is a little bit different because most of the time you get bras too to come in one package so i do that when you're going out to dine something i have learned and i will be doing a vlog on that very soon guys you will see that video coming up soon something i've learned and that is it's good to ask for the special so i i told princess hey we're gonna go dining out twice a month and in between little dining maybe grab a snack a burger king or a kfc or whatever it's limited but to go out and literally sit down and have a meal at a table it's twice a month twice a month maybe i should do once a month but for now it's twice a month and uh when i get paid somewhere along in the middle of the month and that's it if it's not possible to do it twice a month then it's once but i'm not pushing to say oh i have to have to do this i have to go out there there might be even months where we don't go out something i want to say about dining guys thank you for being here and putting that thumbs up something i want to say about dining when you go i like i have learned something always ask for the special no food is cheap every food that you buy whether it's 15 dollars or 20 dollars it's money that you're spending is still costly so don't go and say oh because i'm gonna dine out once a month so i should go lavishing and buying the most expensive piece of meat that you yourself could go in the shop and buy and go home and cook it and at least you know what you're cooking you don't know what the people there are, are doing when they're cooking the food for you you know you don't know how long they defrost the meat before they they stir fry it and put it on a platter for you so or you don't even know how long they have the rice there if the rice is left over so every food that you buy it is costly and it is money when you dine out so you know what i like to do i like to ask a special what is the special for today when you have the special for today like there's this restaurant it's 29 dollars for the special you get a starter a main course and a dessert i like those things i like menu that they make up a special menu for that i like it it's good you go out and you don't have a lot of money to spend that's a way to budget it hey i'm going out with 50 dollars. i don't want to spend more than 50 i'm gonna go to a restaurant that has a full meal special so i get a starter I get a, what do you call it? I get a starter, I get a main course, and I also get a dessert. Now, I have to buy the drink, whether sparkling water or a glass of wine or whatever. I'm buying that separate. But for sure, I want to make sure that I get a menu that is special. Yes, a special menu. <laughs> And like I explained before, there's a menu at one of the restaurants I normally go. It's $29. And you get a starter, main course, and a dessert. Which I find is fabulous. But of course, when you buy the drink and everything, everything might come up to, um, between Princess and myself, might come up to $50 or less. Put it that way. Um, more than $50. So $30, 30 that's $60 plus... Um, the drink or whatever you might look at $70 so I say okay cool I'm going with 80 but my intention is to spend 70 and then of course I would love to give a tip etc all of that you know that um vacation now from the moment I know that I'm going on vacation guys you know what I do I start 
Padna Han. Padna Han. I don't know how many of you know this thing called Padna Han. Do send in the comments and let me know if you know about Padna Han. I do Padna Han. So I put money away, whether it's a hundred dollars. I keep showing, I give it to someone, and then I said, okay, cool. This is towards my vacation. So whether I'm traveling or I'm just doing a staycation or whatever, I have a little money when it's vacation time. I also do partner hands if I have an excess bill that I want to pay off. I do partner hand for that as well. You can do partner hand even to save. Because not all of us is good at taking that money and putting it away immediately in the in your bank account you know but if you if you do a partner hand where you know okay this month is my draw or next month is my draw you have it for a reason and a purpose then too you don't you don't go spending the money that you're supposed to save you can save it because you know hey i'm doing a partner hand and it's gonna come and when it's gonna come i'm gonna pay my light or i'm gonna pay this excess bill my my insurance you know whatever excess bill that you have like i have the insurance for my jeep coming up i have to pay for that so yes i do a partner hand and then i can do i can pay for that these are little tips that i do and these this is what i call extra bills and planning extra bills and planning so a partner hand comes perfect when you have extra bills to pay and plans like you're planning to go somewhere or something come up god forbid something happened to a family member and you need to be there how are you gonna be there and you don't have no money and you don't want to go and touch your savings so guess what a partner hand come in perfectly for times like that this these are things i am learning guys and i hope you guys can learn as well if you're here for the first time to my channel i say a big welcome don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm 25 subscription away from 1k subscribers so please share out the video guys tell a friend to tell a friend tell your friends check out toya family empire she has so much to offer so much to bring to the table and this month every sunday is all about budgeting 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 you need to learn how to budget we're going to be talking about budgeting food money that i'm spending all the time i waste money doing this and that uh -uh. all right let me see who sent a message carlos is here with me today hi toya happy and blessed sunday you look great today thumbs up done too thank you no don't know about the part you told before oh partner hand so partner hand i think that's what you want to know carlos all right so i'm gonna answer that question so carlos um, in my case, I start saving and define what is called an earning goal. When I want to plan, uh, let's see, when I want to plan a purchase or a vacation in this case. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Earning goal, okay. In a way, and then save bit by bit for that matter okay that's a good one um for me the partner hand is 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 something like that so um i go to a person that i trust and she says to me okay cool i have five people that wants to do a partner hand so it's for five months and uh, for this hand you pay a hundred dollars every month so that's five hundred dollars at the end of the five months now I could save five hundred dollars on my own but I'm not that I'm not that good at it and when I say I'm not that good at it if I know that money is there put down even though I know it's for something I'm still gonna go dip into it in case something happened and I need it I'm gonna go dip into it but if I don't have it at home, then I have no other choice but to do it out. <laughs> you know, everybody has a way. That is me. It's hard for me to can just get up and say, I can save on my own just like that. So going into a partner hand, I give someone the money to hold for me. And they 
it's like a a, a, a roll like a roller coaster saving so I give you my $500 and you lend it to someone and then when the fifth month come when the hand is gonna end you give it back to me or example I give you a hundred dollars and you give me 400 so I have five I have a, a emergency or a, you know okay cool August is coming and I want to go here I want to go there I go hmm I'm gonna do a partner hand so at the month in the month of August I will get my hand when actually example I need two thousand dollars but I won't be able to save from March to August that two thousand but if I go into the partner hand I can go and say I need two thousand I need it in August and they tell me okay cool you're gonna take you ten months to pay for it and it's like a little loan at the same time so I get that two thousand and then I continue to pay a hundred dollars until I finish pay off for it but I, it's like a quick I get the money quick put it that way that's what partner hand is like I hope I explain I hope you understand <laughs> um, I hope I, I hope you understand but somebody that does partner hand is the best person to explain cuz mm. oh, okay you got it okay awesome cuz <laughs> I'm not good at explaining that much but it's like a quick money it's like you borrowing the money to pay it back or sometimes you lend the money to get it back so if you your hand is the last hand then you pay the money to get it back at the end of the the drawing yeah so that is something I do and I, I put that on the extra bills and planning so I always take out um, if it's a hundred or two hundred dollar depend on the partner hand I take that out and I put towards that every single month August is coming up or birthday coming up I'm get I got my hand so I get in my hand uh, in July or I get my hand in June or May or whenever and I have that amount of cash to walk with so besides buying a plane ticket okay example I saved for my plane ticket from since last year November I've been saving for my plane ticket for our plane ticket not just mine princess and I will be traveling so I save for our plane ticket and I always try to buy our plane tickets early as you all know when summertime hit especially here in the caribbean the prices go sky high so i always make sure i save little little every month i say okay this is towards my plane ticket this is for grocery this is of course the four top priority as you can see it's always gonna be there and it has to be paid nobody's gonna pay your bills for you so it has to be paid and as a single mom, I have to pay them. I got to make sure they're paid. Now, if I'm in a relationship, it's different. Then my um, significant other will pay some, um, either pay two and I pay two or vice versa. Or he says, okay, I will pay um, the most important and you buy food and, and clothes and, you know, you pay the cable or the or you pay the internet or whatever but that's a way to of saving but then when i on my own doing everything then i have to come up with a budget thank you for putting that thumbs up and thank you for being here i have to come up with a budget monthly bills and extra bills and plan and that's where partner hand falls in to partner hand is a great way of saving it's a great way for me especially to save um I also on the extra bills and planning I put grocery because as you all know food don't last long I have to cut up my grapes guys I have to um, I have to do a vlog about that I have to cut up all my fruits and put it in the freezer all my fruits I have to cut and put in the freezer because everything nowadays spoil it's spoiled and it's like you wasting money buying um fruits and veggies and then in a week time you have to throw them all away and i don't have money to waste ah, i ain't got any kind of money to waste anyways cheers for those of you that are coming as i said it's the month of july and your girl have upgraded from lemon and perrier water to orange juice and lemon <laughs> 
cheers to each and everyone that is joining i i really love admire and appreciate y'all support y'all have been so supportive and so so um there even if it's three people that is watching the live or four people that is watching the live i know that more will will watch the live um the video after and that is the most important you just pull it to run re-watch the video it doesn't take nothing out of you leave it to play while you're washing cooking whatever just leave it to play um yeah and closing closing comes in like i said i don't buy clothes unnecessarily not anymore i used to but not anymore because if i have a budget plan it doesn't include clothes every month no it doesn't so i'm not gonna buy clothes unnecessarily no and i'm gonna cook more i'm gonna do sorry i'm gonna do more and i'm so excited for our vacation guys you would not believe it let me tell you all something every month must and should be progress so last month i spoke about my um how how, how you would say my relationship that is no longer in existence before that i spoke about unforgiveness before that i spoke about um how to grow on youtube before that i spoke about um life and situation i'm always talking about i always have a new topic for the month of life and i just want to say to all american citizens all my american youtubers a happy fourth of july i want to say to all my caribbean people happy emancipation day although it was the first of july i still want to wish you all happy emancipation day and saying happy emancipation day i want to say this as individual this verse this phrase is so powerful emancipate yourself from mental slavery only our self can free our mind emancipate yourself from mental slavery always remember that because when you are not emancipated you cannot move forward so let's emancipate ourselves and it's not only from mental slavery but from the inability of saying i cannot do this i cannot get this done i am not worthy you are worthy of the best you're worthy of the biggest you deserve the best you deserve everything that life good everything good that life has to offer and the only way you can achieve it is if you have that mindset that mentality that desire to achieve that desire to accomplish that faith that you are capable that's the only way i tell this to my daughter always you can do all things through christ that give you strength you can do all things if you are also determined god gives you the strength to have now have that determination to push forward and to each and every one that is watching this vlog and will be watching i want to say a big thank you for watching don't forget to put that thumbs up to send a comment in the comment section and to share your girl out you know i was talking to a um a good friend of mine and i was telling him i uh, sometimes you know youtube can be so discouraging i went to bed with a certain amount of subscriber i get up and there's less <laughs> and, and he was like hey what is life without pushing how do, how will you rejoice in the victory when you haven't really push and endure and i was like you know what you're right i know it's so but sometimes you just need that kind of reminder to remind you that hey you have to push in the process that you can do it in the process and guess what that's why the bill come in the process <laughs> <laughs> paying my bills before i leave for vacation i have to make sure these four bills are paid i don't want to have to come home and cannot go get into my apartment so i have to make sure that i pay my bills and i'm, I'm managing everyone before you decide to go on a vacation or before you decide to go anywhere or do anything pay your main bills your light your water your rent make sure i mean when you're going on a vacation it's easier to use that money that you're going
on a vacation to use it to buy food while on vacation you know also budget yourself while on vacation because that is what we're going to be doing budgeting we're not going to get up every single day that we're on vacation and go buy food no that money that i would normally buy grocery at home with i'm gonna use it or maybe half of it to buy grocery when we are in um our place designated place of vacation another tip i would like to give is that when you decide to go on vacation and you know that you're on a budget get a apartment or a room a hotel room with kitchen so you can cook yes you're on a vacation but you can cook still the good part is you have a kitchen it so when you're hungry, you can go and you can cook. And they have dishwashers. Maybe at your home you don't have dishwashers like myself. I don't have a dishwasher washer at home. But <laughs> what I do have is I can um uh, when you're on vacation you have a dishwasher. You have people come in making your beds in the morning. What? That is vacation. So it ain't gonna take nothing out of you to cook. Yes, I'm not saying cook every day, but cook cook at least if you go on vacation for a week cook three days in that week or four days in that week it's actually better for you because the money you're gonna spend to buy food to go out and eat and dine might as well you buy and you have more stuff to last you for that entire week isn't that budgeting isn't that smart budgeting be a smart budgeter yes be a smart budgeter now guys as i said this video is short and to the point don't forget to send in a comment where do you think we are going for our birthday vacation and stay tuned for next week as i continue to budget and talk about budget next week sunday i'm gonna be talking to you i'm gonna get into more details about how i have been budgeting i give you a tip one of my ways of budgeting is partner hand i explained about it and another way is buying food and cooking staying home more and eating out less that's a good way to budget you don't want to spend the rest of your life um penniless you know you don't want to spend the rest of your life wondering how you're gonna make it you're supposed to be able next next week sunday we're gonna talk about investment making small investments that's a good way of budgeting if you can see what you're doing with your money and you can save a dollar a day you can make small investments you can start that's a small investment into yourself so we're gonna talk about creating small investments into yourself and then of course the big one's gonna come and and so forth and so forth and so forth well it was a pleasure um chit chatting this month videos are gonna be way shorter <laughs> way way shorter than the last month's videos thank you guys for joining me and i want to say a big thank you don't forget to put that thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section happy 4th of july to all my american youtubers and american followers happy canadian day also which also passed to all canadians all the, my canadian friends a happy canadian day to you and happy emancipation day to the caribbean and worldwide one love stay blessed and i will see you guys next sunday also don't forget if you haven't watched last month's sunday lives i've put them into a playlist so that you'll be able to can go and just watch them leave the the video run you can leave a comment if you like just make sure that you put that thumbs up um so i have playlists so if you have missed any videos or any vlogs head on down to my playlist catch me in also in community as i do shout outs and i keep you updated in my community as what is to come i also you know talk about story or i put up a little photos here and there um we did a little staycation here on the island i'm also 
busy working on that vlog i have so much working on so much i want to get done plus i have to study for schooling and so forth so i have so much coming up this month every remember every single month i will be doing one upload and one live every single week sorry every single week one upload and one live so two videos per week when i'm done with schooling then i will go back to my regular three videos per week and i hope by then i can say cheers with a glass of wine for a thousand subscriber i'm hoping fingers crossed earlier than later a thousand subscriber four thousand watch hours get the ball on the road let's do this guys help your girl help me reach there help me you see i'm determined i'm constantly here vlogging i'm constantly here talking so help me out all right and remember treat other people's channel the way you want to be treated even though you may not have a youtube channel treat everybody channel with respect you have a youtube channel do not um create a, do not create videos bashing other youtubers because they come out talking about their situation or their pain if you can relate relate if you can't relate move along all right okay one love guys from the island stay blessed and i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to answer the question that i asked and i will see you on my next live next sunday all right check out the other videos there's so many other videos Stay blessed. Bye. Until next time.